All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Aquarius for the 29th of March 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Aquarians who need to hear these messages today. Who are the Aquarians who need to hear these messages, please? Let's see. Ta -da! Four of Wands. Okay, you could be in a relationship already. You could be celebrating something. You might be doing very well. Okay, so what's going on for Aquarius? You might have Aries in your chart too. Two of Cups. What's going on? So maybe you're getting into a relationship with somebody. You could be moving in with somebody. You might even be getting married. Maybe somebody's proposing to you or you're proposing to somebody. Queen of Wands. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries here or Pisces. Ooh, lots of Aries energy. All of these cards represent Aries and this is Pisces. Mm. But there could be, I don't know, maybe you're traveling with this person somewhere. Maybe you're going on honeymoon or something like that. Ten of Cups, whoa. Yeah, I think you may have just gotten married and you're going on honeymoon or you're about to get married. Okay, cool. So you're doing very well here with the Aries person here. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you live with this person. There you go. Ten of Wands. But there's some kind of burden here. Or you're leaving the burdens behind. If you've had issues with these pe with this person, you're leaving them behind. Or if you had issues with other people, you're leaving them behind and you're, um, you're happy with this person. Okay, cool. So, let's see. Two of Wands. You could be traveling somewhere, like I said. Maybe you're traveling... Where are you traveling? Two of Swords. Eight of Swords. Five of Wands. You're not traveling anywhere. Wait a second. You could be watching somebody. That means you're watching somebody. You're not traveling. There's some kind of conflict here. So it's very interesting because in the first row I have all the good cards. Now I have all the bad cards. So there was a conflict here and you could be stuck, you could be thinking about somebody you had a conflict with. This could be somebody else. So maybe this Aries is the person you're living with, you're happy in this situation here. But what you're not happy about is somebody who lives at a distance from you. So this person could be affecting your current relationship. How is this person affecting your current relationship? Six of Wands. They might be affecting your image. They might be talking shit about your relationship. This person could be gossiping about your relationship. 56 could be significant. Why? Are you, okay, Ten of Swords. You feel betrayed by somebody. Or you feel like somebody wants to hurt you, wants to end your relationship. You could have somebody who's trying to end your relationship. Knight of Swords. Yes, it's true. So somebody's trying to make you look bad publicly. Or they're trying to make your partner look bad. And they're trying to end your relationship with this partner. So what should you do? What should you do about this situation? What can you do about this situation? Seven of Pentacles. You need to be patient, apparently. <sighs> okay, so... What else can you do? Besides being patient. Manifest something. Again, with the waiting. They're, they're making you wait. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands is both about waiting, being patient. Okay, so what's going to happen here? What's going to happen with this person who's trying to um, five of swords? They're going to be defeated. They're going to give up, I think. They're going to stop causing conflict. Okay. What else? It's true. Ace of swords. It's going to be an ending to this. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think they're just going to give up and that's it. Anything else? Seven of 
Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. There's going to be a balance restored in, in your family. So everything's going to be fine, okay? You just have to be patient. Okay. I think that's all. Yes, it's true. That's all. The end. You just have to be patient. Maybe this is something that's meant to test your patience, I guess. To help you become more patient. It's a karmic lesson of some sort, I guess. Anyway, the idea is that uh, things are going to resolve. This is going to end. The end, okay? King of Wands, victory. There you go. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. You and your partner are going to be okay. That's all. Take care.